My name is Lauren Miller and I'm a third year MFA performance and pedagogy student here at Texas Tech and I am the director for Sarah Rule's Passion Play. Passion Play is an epic cycle play that takes place in three parts and it spans about 500 years. The first part takes place in 1575 Northern England and then it jumps forward to 1934 Oberammergau, Germany and then finally 1969 in Spearfish, South Dakota. And within each of these parts we get to see these communities putting on their own version of the passion story of the Christ. So we get to see a play within a play and kind of how their approach to that play is and they all have very different stylistic choices. One thing that's really great that Sarah Rule has done in with this play is that she has taken these times in history where politics and religion were kind of at each other's throats and where those who were in leadership politically were kind of using the passion story production and religion to kind of further their own political endeavors, especially whenever we get into Oberammergau, Germany. And it's interesting to watch those characters and how they kind of balance these pressures of playing these biblical roles and how they deal with social, political, and religious norms, and how those affect their own morals. My process for this has been 100% collaborative based. It's a huge play, and there's no way that you can do it just as one person. And one thing that I love about this whole thing is that everyone involved, from the cast members to the production team, the designers, is that everyone is so invested. And it's been a really fun process to kind of build this show from the ground up. My experience has been wonderful working on this show. It's just every single night that I come into rehearsal and my actors are rock stars, you know, because we're running four hours a night, six days a week. And they just give it their all every single night, even towards the end of the fall semester and then jumping right back before even classes start again. They just jump in ready to work. And even the same thing with the designers. They're constantly working and brainstorming with me on how to really build this beautiful epic story with the elements that we've been given. What's really cool about this piece is that it's magical realism and Sarah Rule does a great job of writing in that style. So she does all these very realistic based scenes, these realism where it's very real day-to-day -day life. And then there's these moments where very magical things happen. There's fish puppets that come out and these repeated motifs of the past. So I'm really excited to see how lights, costumes, set and sound really enhance those moments and really bring them to this really cool magical place. I can't think of a better time to be working on a show like Passion Play than today. I mean, you think about all that's happened within our country in the past year or two, and we're kind of a very divided country. We're very black and white. And one thing that I love about Passion Play is that it really explores those gray areas. And it's a piece that everyone can relate to in some way. And it uses politics and religion to evoke thought, not to bash one or the other, very much like all the news headlines are doing these days. And it really explores the power of using one's voice. We see these individuals who are in these kind of atmospheres where politics and religion are bashing one another and really morphing things very similar to today. And they're grappling with trying to figure out when is it that they actually stand up and use their own voice. Very similar to how a lot of people in society are trying to do today. And I think that the audience, our audiences can learn a lot from watching these characters kind of struggle with that battle and find where their morals lie and learn when it is that they do need to start speaking up and what happens when they do and what happens when they don't. We kind of see both sides of that and it really is a very powerful message about learning to connect with other people and being willing to see that gray area and stopping and acknowledging one another. And I think that it's just a timeless tale and it also, it shows the repetition of history and the threats of history. And when you stop and look at the scope of even just simply American history, we kind of go through the same cycle over and over again. And we don't seem to really learn from the past. And one thing that's so cool about Passion Plays, it's, you know, it spans 500 years. So we're able to really look back way in history and see the similarities to where we are today. And it really calls you to stop and think about what it is that we can be doing to bring change and to really seek understanding in one another and it's just quite a timeless tale. So it is such an honor to be actually directing the last show to ever be performed in the lab space and I think about the history of shows that have gone on in that space and I think Passion Play is truly the best play to be the last one performed in there because it is all about the community aspect of theater and how it can bond communities together and just this whole process of working on Passion Play with the Texas Tech team it really does show the heart of this play and the heart of theater in general. So really, Passion Play is such an exciting project to be doing in that space as the very last show, and it's truly an honor. Come see Sarah Rule's Passion Play, February 5th through the 11th in the Majin Lab Theater.